For editing and locating elements in OpenDSSG, we have several options. We have the classic options that refer to going into the edit menu, try it, well, depending if it's a PD or PC element, and from there, just go straight into the element, form from play, if you know the name, you'll find it very quick, and, well, start doing the editing you want. For locating elements graphically, we have different uh, highlight menus that will allow us to locate elements by type. We can define the color that we want those elements to be represented across the model. With that, it should be easy, easy enough to locate them. So right now, I'm illustrating how to show the substation location, uh, some voltage regulators, cap banks, transformers, and others. You can select and change the visualization mode at any time. It is possible to select what elements are visible, and the visualization will self-adapt when applying zooming, zooming tools. We can also bring into the GUI the names of the buses, the names of the elements, or the names of the lines, just to have a quick look to, or trying to locate some lines to see where they are in terms of the GUI distribution. So, after going back and uh, deciding which elements want to be want to be displayed, I uh, can select also other highlighting, uh, other heat maps that we have or mask that we, we can add to the model. Like, for example, increasing the line thickness just to make it more visible. And in some cases, it, it becomes useful if required. Also, again, we can bring all the elements that we want using the highlight tools, the heat map tools that are available also at the menu, which is located at the top of the window. Again, by applying zooming, the zooming options that we have, the graph is going to be automatically adjusted to present a better look on, on the on the elements across the system. Now for editing an element, I just go to the, for example, PC load, I can go to the PC elements menu for editing, select the name of the, of the element, and the window, the menu for changing the features of that, uh, of that element are gonna appear. We can link things like voltage profiles, everything will be, do, will be done graphically. So you can just Go ahead and link those easily using graphical menus. Also, we can change properties that are not available as a graphical control using the additional OpenDSS definitions and apply them while the system is in constructor mode. Another option for locating and editing elements in OpenDSSG is the inspector. The inspector allows me to locate within a region of interest a group of PC elements, transformers, or lines, and show them graphically displaying their basic features and uh, allowing me to locate them within the GUI and also edit the content. So for example here, I'm locating in this region all the loads connected there. You can see below the little icon symbolizing the, representing the load. A uh, summary, a brief summary on the element's features. I can, by right-clicking, find the element within the GUI. I can go around, select different elements. We can select different elements. Again, try to find them within the GUI. We can do some basic calculations, like for example, how much load do we have in this region in terms of KW? It's going to give me the information per phase. How much uh, load do we have in terms of reactive power? It's going to, it's going to have, we're going to have all that information uh, per phase. 
and we have the same for distributed for uh, distributed generation. From there, we also can get into the editing mode for each one of the elements. So it's a, it's a very easy and handy way to get access to that information. We can do the same for transformers. Uh, we can do the same. Uh, well, it will bring all the elements that are contained in the, in the region. But again, it all depends on the option that you select for the inspector. In this case, we're applying only for PC elements. So we can see the substation. We can see some loads in that in the region of interest. But what if we want to do a transformer? We go to the inspector menu and select the transformers options. There we just draw the region of interest again, and we're going to have all the information about those transformers. We can add it, locate, everything. And also, we can have access to the controls linked to those transformers, like in this case, rec controls or regulators. So we can edit everything graphically in a nice and well-finished, uh, well, at least for my taste, well-finished graphical interface. So we can close that and we can do exactly the same for lines. So here we're locating the transformer. We can have as many as inspector windows open. I mean, if we need 10, we can open them at the same time. It shouldn't be a problem. For lines, it's exactly the same thing. The only difference is that the icon for the line is going to be thicker or thinnest or thinner depending on the number of faces, which will help in a graphical way to differentiate the number of faces per line. Again, I can locate them. I can get to the edit menu using these tools. Another tool recently added in version three is the navigator. The navigator is a window that allows me to explore all the different classes that I have in OpenDSS and bring all the, name, the names of all the elements belong to that class that are across the system. By clicking on one of those elements, I can bring all the, all the different features and properties for the element. I can locate the element on the, on the GUI and also edit the element, which is very convenient because that way I can just select the element and check the properties with just one click. Again, every time I click on one of the elements, I can just go ahead and fight and bring all the properties. We have also a search, a little search engine within this window that I'll, if we know the name of the element, because sometimes, for example, for a large scale model, uh, looking to, into a list can be, can be a little bit tricky. So here, what we have is a search engine that will allow you to uh, insert the name of the element you're looking for and just locate it within the list and bring all the properties for that element. You can have uh, several navigator windows open at the same time. So you can make comparisons between the properties of two elements or bring different types of elements just to make sure that you're getting, you're getting the information and everything is configured as you're expected to be. We have different options. All the options in this window can be accessed by right-clicking on the window. So you can edit, uh, copy the name of the element to the clipboard and etc. The final option will be to use the inspector on a bus. This option only works if you are working in constructor mode. So just by right-clicking on a bus, you can select the option inspect this bus select one of the menus of the inspector and that will show you all the elements connected to that bus in this case pc elements we have a cap bank from there just go with the normal options for uh, the inspector and that should be it